Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to do the ethnicity tag. And I've seen this video go around YouTube a few times now and I thought I would do it because I love learning about different ethnicities, different cultures, different races, customs, beliefs, all that kind of stuff. I'm really into all of that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so you'll always be up to date whenever I post a new video. Now let's get into it. Okay, so it's gonna be a very quick video. I think there's only eight questions, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, so the first question is, where are you from? So I am from Toronto, Canada, born and raised. I love Toronto so much, but um, my parents are from the beautiful country of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, both of them are from there and I'm mixed race. So I have Asian ancestry and African ancestry. Question number two, do you have an ethnic name? So my first name and my middle name is not ethnic at all. It comes of like European descent, but my last name is ethnic. My last name is Arabic. And basically I have that name because I do have Arab ancestors, which is why my last name is Arabic. <laughs> Question number three, when was the last time you visited your country? So I went to Trinidad in February of this year. Um, I miss it so much. I wish I could go back. Once all of this situation is over with, I'll be able to go back in February of next year. I really want to go for carnival. I went this year, but I left before carnival started just because of like work scheduling and stuff. So next year I hope to go for actual carnival. Question number four, what part of the country are you and your family from? So like I mentioned, I'm from Toronto, but my mom is from Port of Spain, which is the capital of Trinidad. And my dad is from San Fernando, which is um, South Trinidad. But he moved from San Fernando to Port of Spain when he was like a teenager. So he spent most of his life in Port of Spain. Question number five, name one ethnic food that you enjoy the most. So I'm, I'm going to start off and say I'm a very, very, very picky eater. There are a lot, I would say there's a lot more things I don't eat than what I do eat. So I don't eat that much Trinidadian food, but what I do really love is Kalaloo. Kalaloo is basically a vegetable dish. It's kind of like a soup, I would say, because it's very thick. Um, and it's made out of like dashin bush and they put other things in it as well. It's just really nice and tasty. So I really love Kalaloo. Um, I like doubles, but from Trinidad. I've had doubles up here in like Canada and I don't really care for it. There's something about Trinidadian doubles that like, you can't get anywhere else but in Trinidad. And I really love bake and shark. Bake is basically like a a fried dough, like a fried flatbread. And they fry up the shark and they put it inside and you can put like a whole bunch of stuff on top. Like I usually put lettuce, tomato, cucumber, um, cabbage. And then you can put like different sauces like garlic sauce, ketchup, mustard, shadow veni, pepper sauce, a whole bunch of different sauces. But it is so good. If you go to Trinidad, I definitely recommend trying Bacon Shark. It's really good. And I am not a seafood person. I don't eat fish. I don't eat any kind of seafood, but I really love Bacon Shark. Okay, question number six. Name one household item that best represents your culture. Um, hmm. We have like a lot of things like scattered all over the house. Like by our front door, we have a key holder and it's in the shape of the island of Trinidad. Um, oh, okay, on my dressing table, 
I have a shot glass and it says Tobago on it. I just keep like random change in here and I have a battery. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just have like stuff all over the house. Like I have um, postcards from Trinidad. I have shot glasses. I have a steel pen somewhere. Um, yeah. Question number seven. What is your favorite ethnic music? So um, there's a genre of music that started in Trinidad. It's called soca. If you've never heard of soca music before, definitely um, search it for it on YouTube. There are so many different soca artists now. I just love it. Um, but soca music is just kind of like a really like hype, feel good kind of music. It's usually played in like, for example, like in the Toronto area, you usually hear a lot during Caravana time, which is in August. Um, but I personally listen to soca all day, every day, all year long. Like I don't wait for Caravana to listen to soca. I listen to it all the time. Um, yeah, so I love soca music. Some really good artists are uh, Mashal Montano, Destra Garcia, uh, Patrice and Nadia, Bungie and Fan, Sherwin. There's like so many good soca artists out there. I love soca music. So I'm definitely a soca junkie. I listen to it all day, every day, like I said. When I'm at work, I listen to it all day during work and it just puts you in such a good mood it's like really like really nice feel good music you just want to get up and dance if you've never heard of it definitely check it out and if you love soca music let me know down below what your favorite song is for the year i always love to know what people's like favorite songs are for the year um question number eight do you speak your language so they speak English in Trinidad, so yes, I do. Um, but like with any other like English-speaking country, of course there's an accent. So for example, like the English in Canada is very different from the English spoken in the UK. So um, Trinidadians speak English, they just have an accent, and the accent varies depending on like what area of Trinidad you're from. So I speak English. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's basically it. There's no other, like, the second language is Spanish, and I do speak some Spanish, but I didn't, like, learn it from my parents. I just learned it, like, on my own. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, that's the only language. And that's it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's pretty short. But I just wanted to share it with all of you. I'm just trying to make a lot of content now that like, you know, I know a lot of people are probably at home watching YouTube. So I just want to put a smile on everybody's face and I hope everybody who watches enjoyed it. Um, definitely, if you don't want to make a video, leave a comment down below and you can answer the same set of questions based off of your ethnicity. I would love to hear that too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.